Hello everyone, so the following episode of Skyrim is a super episode made up of two separate episodes. The reason I'm combining them into one is they are both legacy of the Dragonborn Museum quests. I know some people might not be interested in that type of thing, so I'm going to combine them both here. Um, but it just happened to be a coincidence that I recorded the first one, which has some horror elements, so I'll make sure that is kind of signaled on screen, so you can skip over that bit if you want to. Um, but I did the first one, and I was like, I'll record a second episode for the people who aren't interested in the horror stuff, who aren't interested in the Legacy of the Dragonborn specific quest. And then I went back into the museum, and the next quest triggered, because we had the conditions for it. So I thought if I put them together into the same one, you can skip over the entire episode if you're not interested in it. Um, the second part is a frustration-filled mess, uh, which you might enjoy. That's why I'm telling you that, because you might enjoy watching that, because it is just me getting fucking killed by a boss over and over. The museum quest triggered and we were like way too low level for it. So we got absolutely annihilated over and over and over. I won't spoil with how it ends. Uh, but you can you can watch that one if you want. So that's today's stuff. Skippable if you want to. Ah, <laughs> oh, never gets old. Welcome everybody to the adventures of Martinius. Last name. Where earlier today... I wanted to play Skyrim, but I also didn't want to, you know, record way ahead of time and, uh, you know, not have a chance to read the comments and whatnot. So I thought, what can I do that's helpful, but also won't detract away from anything? Stuff that we need doing that's kind of, you know, not worth watching. The answer is I went and collected every single book not nailed down in Winterhold. So now our inventor is absolutely rammed full of just about every bloody book possible. Lots of various notes and recipes and crap. But by reading books, so I've actually unlocked quite a few quests as well. Guardian of the Divine is a quest that we now have access to. I've read a curious book concerning the lost relics of the Divine Crusader, which were bought to Skyrim by the last members of the Order who attempted to hide the relics from the Thalmor. So now we've got to find all of the Crusader gear, which is kind of cool. Um, now, while I was kind of just doing that and hanging around, the courier stopped us and gave us a letter from uh, Kelselmo, the... The high elf who runs the the, the the museum, for lack of a better word, in Markarth with the Dwemer artifacts. Uh, it turns out the helmet that we found yesterday in our Kungthams, the, the helmet of Eminent Magicka, is something he wants for his gallery. So that's another thing that we've got lined up to do. But basically, I just found a shitload of stuff all for the gallery. Like, like literally hundreds of books ready to be put into the gallery. So I came back here to drop things off at the gallery, and uh, it's closed. They've, they've, they've locked the doors. Because apparently, there's something happening here. There's a priest of RK. Hello, Brother Ickard. Uh, so we can't get in through any means. We can get up to the safe house by going through this door. Uh, and up to the, the room there. But but from our safe house, the door between that and the, the, the gallery is barred. And the door between the Explorer's Guild and the gallery is also barred. So, there's actually no way in. Mm. Why are you here? Go away, you strange man. So... Turns out, when I obviously got here early to drop off all the books, out, ready to record later, um, this guy stopped me and said that uh, apparently the museum is closed because of a supernatural disturbance. Brother Ricard, a priest of Arke, has been called to investigate and ask for my assistance. I should return after 9 o'clock tonight and help him investigate the museum. So here we are, ready to investigate the museum. Let's do it, shall we? See exactly if we can solve the mystery. And more what the hell? See, more importantly, if we're allowed back into our own bloody museum. Right. Brother Ickard, ready when you are. So, sight warning. This, this is a quest I've played before as well, by the way. Uh, a little while ago. It, 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 the, the Dragonborn Gallery has a kind of storyline going on uh, where occasionally weird things will happen, like the Dwemer airship and, and stuff like that. So, Brother Ickard, I'm ready to go. Excellent. Let's see what we can discover. Just as a slight oh, warning, there are some the slightly well scary things in this quest. It's about ghosts Look and supernatural. Um, I wouldn't say it's particularly horrifying or anything like that. It's on par with, you know, most Skyrim horror adventures. I don't know why most modders decide to go for horror. Because it's, like, arguably the least appealing thing. I think horror, to uh, elicit a reaction and to fulfill what is horror, is very easy to do. You just do a jump scare or a spooky noise and, oh, it's horror. You have technically achieved it. To do a good mod based around story and writing is is obviously way harder. You can't you can't do that so easily. I think that's why a lot of people end up doing horror quests. Here we are, the Dragonborn Gallery. Well, things look pretty pretty normal. Oh, except for the chairs piled up and the the boxes piled up. Wow, well, a lot of stuff's still here, so it's not a robber. 
Oh yeah, that's um, that's not where dining chairs go, is it? Not even remotely. I wonder where Orion and the museum guards got off to. Just fucking gone at this point. Okay then. Brother Rickard? There's definitely a ghost. Where's Brother Rickard gone? Just completely fucked off. Oh. Hello, excuse me, sir. Got the library through there. Fuck me, that was loud. Wow. Apologies for that. Jesus. <laughs> oh, he's throwing books around. Nothing pisses off Martinius more. Nothing any, <laughs> nothing more spooky. Well, for fuck's sake, I hope this gets tidied up. Uh, okay, fine. What, what are we looking for? Jesus fucking lord, that is loud, eh? See if I can turn that down in the uh, in the recording. What do you want me to do here? Oh, let's turn the compass on. There's no compass marker. What the hell are we supposed to do? Oh, search the library for clues. All right, let's go and have a look then. So again, a slight warning: there is some spooky stuff, but it's really not. I, again, it is, it is Skyrim ultimately, so don't, you know, don't worry about it being particularly hor horrifying or gruesome or anything like that. But I will note in the title just for people who maybe aren't interested in that type of thing. Oh, in you go. Look, floaty books. You normally have such a such a witty comment to say. Now, if this quest is how I remember it, because again, I have played this, uh, I've completed. Oh, God, I hope they don't mess up this room. It'll take ages to tidy up. As far as I recall, in the rare book section is, there it is, a letter from Niles. 16th of Rain's Hand. Hello, my dearest. I hope this letter finds you well. I miss you greatly and can hardly wait to bring you here to solitude and show you that I have labored over the past several months. It will be a place of greatness, to be certain. I won't go into detail because I wish to be, it to be a surprise and I, when I am able to bring you here. All I can say is I miss you more with each passing day. We must remain steadfast and patient. Soon my work will be complete and I'll be to and we'll be together again. Love you, Niles. I think I might have said your love, Niles. Your love, Niles. Niles! Ooh, it's a floating book. You can buy those on Amazon. You know, like those maglev stands you put fucking pot plants or shit on it oh we gotta go downstairs now everybody knows that the spookiest things happen in the basement it's an unwritten rule hello this place certainly can put one on edge all alone at night oh genius found this letter interesting this is a personal letter from lord mcnarian to his wife Niles McNarian was the benefactor who paid for and oversaw the construction of the original sections of the building. Oh. It looks as if the seal was broken a long time ago. Perhaps delivered and then recovered by the original sender? Aha. Uh -huh. Whatever its fate, the letter almost certainly has something to do with the ghostly presence around here. Really? Let's keep looking about, but do be careful. I think the spirit is starting to become agitated. The spirit is starting several to become fell agitated. The walls right behind me, and many of the dishes in the reception hall flew off the table. Oh, several feet. weapons flew off the walls. I'm a bit tired, to be honest. Trying to attune my senses. Oh, for fuck's sake! Has really taken its toll. I think I'm going to go have a lie down in the staff barracks for a couple hours. I suggest you use one of the other beds in there and get a little okay. rest as well. Okay. We're going to. Now this is kind of where the spooky stuff begins. So just, just as a warning, uh, it's kind of here on out. Have a rest in the staff barracks. I don't want to sleep. You're shit, priest of RK. Oh, you go do the investigating. I'm going to sit down on this bench. And then, oh, I'm a bit tired. I've been sitting down on this bench for so long. Oh, jeez. Okay. Sleep in the bed. You lay down and sleep for a couple of hours. Right, I'm going to quickly just pull something up on my other monitor so I can remember what order to do things in. Because um, it tends to be quite... Uh, I think there's a way you can miss basically one of the items if you don't do it properly. Okay, there we are. Oh, everything good. looks You're fine. Awake. You have to come see this. You're awake. You have to come and see this. Oh, yes. oh there we the go. Oh. Have come to life on their own and have come up from the armory and begun to wander around the museum, while their compatriots have apparently barricaded themselves in from the other side. <laughs> but no, <laughs> that's this the funniest is thing I've ever seen. I show you. I can't explain it beyond saying there's. Definitely something awry here. Oh, wow. They're trying to get our attention. But what exactly are they trying to say is beyond me. I'm going to go take a look around the East Exhibit Halls. Why don't you search the Gallery of Natural Science? And I believe there's a storeroom under the staff barracks that might be worth searching. 
Okay. That's cool. I like that. That's a very fun effect. Oh. So where do you want to start then? Storeroom under the staff barracks. I mean, it's a storeroom, right? You know it's going to be spooky in there, so. Hello. Orcish mannequin. This guy's having the fucking time of his life. I kind of feel bad for it. Where's he go? Oh, there you are. Come with me. Please, please, please come with me. <laughs> I'm so afraid. Hello. Elven mannequin. The most conceited of all mannequins. Come on. Here we go. Museum storeroom. I don't think this is this in particular is the spooky section. I think there's another spooky section after this. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's to the debug room, isn't it? Strange button. <laughs> Nexus mob manager. It's clearly broken beyond repair. Very good. There's the old gallery. Oh, it's so good. I like the old gallery. I think I kind of prefer the old gallery to this one, to be honest. Kind of hard to any go. Did you knock those over or did they fall over with a spooky ghost? Storeroom, storeroom, under the staff barracks. I know there's something we're looking for in particular, um, but I don't remember what. Well, I no, I know I remember what. I just don't remember where. Uh, ah, is this it? Yes, there it is. McNarian's portrait. A portrait of that very guy. Now we're stuck. Can I push the wine rack out of the way? Oh! Uh, come on, you can do it. There we go. Nice work, Martinius. In you go, leave the wine alone. Okay, we found his portrait. Who could have guessed? Again, I've done all this before. It's the next bit that I don't entirely remember. Um, it's when things get a bit more complicated. I think we have to go and show that to our our good friend now. What does he say? East Exhibit? Uh, East Exhibit Halls. Can't get in there. Oh. Uh, Where the hell do we go from here then, I wonder? Should we go into the Gallery of Natural Sciences? Uh, Let's take a look. Find additional clues. Let's take the Gallery of Natural Sciences, the Museum Storm. So maybe there's something else to find as well. Oh, weird. Okay. Um, is it down here? Not door. No, it's not this one. They did say they seem to have barricaded themselves in from the other side. Okay, he sticks it, but it's not that way. I don't even know where the Museum of Natural Sciences is, to be honest. Uh, I really just do not know my way around this fucking gallery at all. I thought you got there through that. <laughs> yeah, you have fun with that. I thought you got to the. Hmm. Maybe we have to go through the library now. I could have sworn you got to it through the East Exhibit Hall, but clearly we can't. We can't get in there. Oh, maybe it's upper floor. Ah, I'm just an idiot. Don't worry. Right, what have we got then? Hall of Natural Science. Here we go. Okay. Oh dear. In you go, it's completely flooded. Oh, jeez, what a what a complete mess. Oh, look at the fish! Oh, there we are. Read old journal. 17th of sun's height, 10th of frostfall. Progress on the new temple is moving along quite well. I think the coin stone could be any harder in the frozen north anywhere else in Samaria, but the hardest ground, in fact, is making it difficult to pry the larger stones free. Who would have guessed? You wouldn't think the quarrying stone could be any harder in the frozen north than anywhere else. What are you talking about, you weird man? We've exhausted most avenues here and we're having some stone bought in from Markarth. Though it will take some time, we didn't cover a nice deposit of marble though. Not substantial enough for construction, but I'll save it for a statue. But perhaps the statue of Talos is already complete. Looks like I can use the marble for a gift or dedication of the building. So the building will be named and called Macnarian Hall. A painting was commissioned, and as much as I hate sticking still for so long, I obliged them when the painting was made. I must have my painting up to commemorate the great efforts here, but I have pl other plans for commemorating the achievement. Oh, well, there you go. So when he built this place originally... Oh, not all my gems. Fuck. When he built this place originally, he had uh, something commissioned for it. And I guess Orion took it down and stuck it in a basement, and now we've got to deal with a fucking ghost. What a fool. You don't piss off ghosts like that. Ah, oh, yes, here's the... Painting of the man who made this museum, who's now a horrible vengeful ghost. Why don't we take this down? What a fool. Where are we going now then? Back to the back to the library. Uh, not here. Where are we? Oh, we are going back to the library. Oh, maybe to pull up the painting. This place certainly okay. could put one on edge all alone at night. Oh, it's Icard. Oh, there you are. Icard. Did you find anything? Uh, I found this journal. Interesting. Well, it's clear that we're dealing with the disquieted spirit of Lord Bagnarian himself. 
though I'm not exactly sure why he would be upset. The hall had always been named for him prior to it being a museum. Perhaps he feels forgotten. That's a distinct probability. The journal makes mention of a portrait of him that was commissioned. Do you recall ever seeing such a painting hanging in the museum? Nope, absolutely not. Oh, I mean, absolutely. Actually, yes. I found this painting in the storeroom. Oh, fantastic. Let's go ahead and hang it up somewhere prominent in the reception hall. Okay. Well, that's a problem easily solved, isn't it? I wonder where Orion is. Outside the gallery is his house. You know, like immediately on the uh, on the right as you come through the gallery area. So I wonder if he's just hanging around in there. Oh, hello. Good luck dealing with the ghost that I pissed off. Fuck you, Orion. What a state. I hope he t I hope he tidies up this museum because this is horrible. If we have to put up with all these books on the floor, I'm gonna have to Quite an interesting spend place some to time between episodes fixing it. History here. <laughs> I can't say he's manic. They'd be kind of creepy if they just kind of appeared. Well, they, they should have done the kind of Weeping Angel um, SCP-175. I can't remember its name now. Um, effect. Oh, there we are. That looks quite nice. Right. And now we rest. Oh, we rest again, do we? I suspect all this unpleasantness will be over. You know where the mannequins only well, move if you're not looking at them. To make sure there's nothing else the spirit is looking no, wait. For. That's the opposite of what they do, isn't it? Yeah, no, no, no. That's that's right. That's fine. You look at you look at it and they stop moving. Yeah, I remember now. A bit of a shitty horror game if you didn't look at him and didn't move. <laughs> ah, problem easily solved. Right, where are we going? We're just going to back to we're going back to bed. Well, he's fucking off. I guess we'll go and sleep then, eh? Come on, Inigo. Time time for bed. You better stay with me, you damn cat. Let me be left alone in this place with these fucking mannequins. Party mannequins. Now we sleep, he says. As the elven mannequin makes his 500th pie of the night. You lay down and rest for two hours. I think this is where the really spooky stuff begins. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is the one. Search the museum for clues about what happened. I oh, what if you give me back? Oh, dear. Brother Ricard has been barbecued. Oh, look at this. Open door. Was that door always there? Hello? Hmm. I think so. Right. Well. Oh, dear. Alteration. What? We in combat? Oh, God. The skeletons. Be gone. Get out of here. We just ate all of their souls. Well, that's going to piss the ghost. Oh, Jesus. What the hell happened in here, eh? The door's also gone. Hello? Put a spear right up the arse. That's tragic. Oh, jeez. That guy got two daggers in his eye. He got a saber in his back. Wow. Oh, my God. Hello? Oh, God. Look at this. He's fucked. Dragon Bane. Wait, just take it? There's a sword there? Oh, we can't take it. Right, it's it's. this is what the gallery would look like if it was completed. That's fucked. That's spooky. Not like that. Yeah, it's taunting me. Taunting me with all my desires. I like the Fountain of Blood. Very Slayer song. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh, God. It's like a World's Worst Cenobite. Oh, jeez, that guy's done for, eh? Should we come up here? What the hell is that? It's kind of cool. Oh, it's like a big... Oh, look! What the fuck is this place? Okay. That's very loud, isn't it? Sorry about that. Uh, where should we go, then? Oh, God, you see that one up there? That one was creepy. Hang on, what was that? Yeah, that was a creepy one. Hello? What is that face? It's a Hagraven face, isn't it? Jeez. Okay. Where should we go now, then? Through here? Hello? Oh, my displays are fucking ruined! Spear door, okay. Open door to here. Spectres? Spirits? I will blast you. I have the magic to do so. Uh... The Daedric displays honestly only look like they've been improved. <laughs> oh, that's some good shit. Where did we go? Uh, open door. Well, that's not that one. That leads to uh, fucking nowhere. Library? Didn't go there. 
Okay, I guess we go downstairs? Upstairs? Let's try upstairs. I know something weird happened upstairs before. Uh, nope. Downstairs it is then. Oh, search the staff barracks. I guess that, maybe that little creepy room that we found before was, um, was it. It does give you hints, but... Search the staff. Oh, fuck's sake. Black Horse Courier. Word from right High Rock has come that Lady Aurelia McNairian has been found dead on the 4th of evening staff following a tragic fire that broke out. Oh, in the east wing of the McNairian estate. Magistrate of Wayrest has investigated, but the cause of the fire has not been released to the public, though they say foul play has not been ruled out. Lady Aurelia was the wife of the wealthy philanthropist Lord Niles McNairian, who best known for his work in building and establishing various temples dedicated to the nine divines all across Tamriel. His recent work has taken him to Skyrim, where he's been hard working seeing the construction of a new temple to Talos based in solitude. News of his dear wife's demise came as quite a shock to him in an ill fated night of drunken mourning. He either stumbled or threw himself off the cliffs of the building side into the arch far below solitude, but he was never found. The project, however, saw, saw through to its completion a few weeks later. Now the temple's dedicated named McNamarian Hall in his honor. Well, there you go. We found out the truth behind McNarian Hall. Wow. Okay. Where the fuck do we go now? Because all the other doors were locked, weren't they? Donk. Oh, I was hoping it would, uh, hoping it would move. Right, what I'll do then... Should we go out the front? Is that it? I can solitude. Oh, what's all this for here? Very weird. <laughs> <laughs> that is still so fucking good. Uh, right, so East Exhibit Hall. Right, still locked. Okay, what about in here? Some floaty books. And again, that's nothing new, is it? I wonder what happened to Inigo. Oh, I didn't notice that giant Hermaeus Mora eye up there before. My bad. All right, hold on a second. Let me just go and confer back to this uh, this area. Okay. Uh, make way to the corridor on the second floor and go towards the library door. Okay, so we go up here. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Hello? There's a tiny woman. Tiny woman? <laughs> oh, there she is. Madam. Oh. She's gone again. Old journal. Oh, there it is. Hello. Ninth of Evening Star, I have received news today of my dear Aurelia's death. How can the vines treat me so? Have I not told Tylus who served my fortune and skills to glorify their names? Am I deserving of such blatant disregard and malice? I cannot bear this pain, even as I write these words, I know that my heart died with you, dear wife. I will press onwards, though, somehow, and finish this building and dedicate it to you and my most beautiful work, befitting of you, and it will be like my last. I just had the commission drawn up yesterday for a marble statue to be built in your likeness, to the agreement with the sculptor, paying the deposit to start the work, and had not had, yet, and had, not had the chance to deliver the official agreement and the balance owed. Seems now to be a memorial of you rather than a tribute. Oh, how I wanted you to see this place and your statue adorn the entrance. I can only hope now that you will gaze down upon me from the seat of the divines and smile. So as a drink is in order to drown my sorrows and perhaps a cold air and a walk out back to clear my thoughts. De deliver the commission agreement and payment first thing in the morning. Oh! Right. So quite clearly he oh, had this. Good. Oh! You're awake. Are you? All right. Hello! Friend. When I woke up, you were gone from the Oh, the gallery wasn't on fire. Oh. I had a terrible nightmare. Well, I should say so. And it had a good solid hold on you, to be sure. I suspect it was no mere nightmare. Right, but okay. Himself. Well, he's very deranged and disturbed. The feelings and thoughts of the dead often come to the living as very disturbed. We believe it's only because they lack the means to fully make their wills known. Did you discover anything? Well... Uh, the things I found are very much real. Oh, this is terrible. I had heard that Lord McNarian had met a rather unfortunate end after his wife passed away. But I didn't know the circumstances until now. And by the look of this journal, he was in great grief right before his death. I must have plummeted to his death from the cliff out back. If you're up to it, I suggest looking around for any clues. Okay. I seriously doubt that there will be any out there, as this has all happened decades ago, but you never know. And our work is obviously not finished with the placing of the painting. I saw that there is a way to access the alley between the Blue Palace and the museum on the upper balcony. Here's a ladder I found amongst the clutter that the ghosts scattered about. 
Just be careful out back. Oh, there's a ladder. I want you to share in McNarian's fate. So he. So he obviously wanted to make. Uh... Oh, hello. He obviously wanted to make that um, that statue for his wife. And then I guess he didn't commit suicide. I guess he was just drunk and slipped off the cliff and died before he could finish it. And that's probably why he's a vengeful ghost now. Because he wants, you know, that commission of his wife finished. But died before he could. All right, got it, got it, got it. Makes a lot of sense, really. What do we do with the ladder? Uh, what the fuck do we do with the ladder? Oh, did he say they barred, they barred the door, right? Didn't they? So we're climbing down here, I see. There you go. Oh, okay, here we are. Down this weird kind of side passage here, okay. To Skyrim. Wow. So I assume our goal is to find the statue that was commissioned or, commi or, or you know, make it ourselves or get it commissioned, something like that. Oh, a lantern keeps going out on here. Very weird. Uh, commission contract. There it is. Burgess Olfstead of Harfingar agrees to sculpt one life statue in the likeness of Lady Aurelia McNarian using provided oil painting as reference and hewn from natural marble provided by the patron, Niles McNarian, for the sum of 8,000 septums. 4,000 septums have been paid in advance with the rest payable on prior delivery to the work. Weird. And this is the rock on the other side. Game doesn't look quite as nice from up here, eh? <laughs> it looks a bit shit, to be honest. Well, there we go then. So he just decided to go and sit up there. I don't know, to look across the poorly rendered bay and then he fell off because he was pissed. Oh, a pleasant bit of music there. I genuinely thought that was the, um, the to be continued music then for a second. Right, well. So, I, I don't remember this part of it. Do we have to go to... I guess we probably have to go to the sculptor or find a different sculptor. As he said, it happened decades ago. So, like... What do they want us to do exactly? Just, just go and get another one commissioned? Try and find a painting? Brother Rickard. The door's open now. Hello. This place certainly can put one on edge all alone at night. Well, exactly. That's why I've got an ego with me. I found this. Amazing. To think that this small bit of parchment has been wedged between the rocks, dangling from the cliffs out there all this time. Yeah, crazy, eh? Being ravaged by the winds and the rain and the snow year after year, and it still persisted. Yeah, so strange. Perhaps it was the will of Niles McNarian that preserved it, so we might take action on it. Right, okay then. Burgess Ulfstead, is it? Ulfstead, Ulfstead, where have I... Ah, that's right. There's a stone cutter by that name living down by Catla's farm. Or more grain, if memory serves. More grain. I take it to him. That's and a fake see what name. You can find out about what happened to the statue his great great grandfather carved. Okay then, find more, more, more grain. <laughs> what a terrible name. No offense, more grain. We do kind of need you right now, otherwise we're going to be haunted for the rest of the time, and I can't store all my books. All the books that I liberated from Winterhold. Well, they weren't fucking using them, were they? Morgan, 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 Morgan. Come along, in you go. Ow! Look at this. It does look a bit strange, doesn't it? Somebody's flooded the river for St. Patrick's Day. Here we are, Catless Farm. Okay. Hello. Oh, look at the baby pig. There was a name for a baby pig. <laughs> Keep your flower outside, yeah, so the rats can get into it. That's good. Hello, horses. Uh, oh, hello, male lord. Good God, what a state you are. Can I help you with something? Do anything about this contract? Contract? What's this? Oh dear, this is my great great grandfather's name. He was a sculptor and a stone cutter by trade. Passed down through the family to me as well. So after three generations, are you finally here to make good on this and collect the statue? Absolutely. I don't think I have 4,000 well, septims. Well, yes. It's been gathering dust in our cellar for ages. None of us had the art to sell it since great-great-grandfather apparently didn't feel right about selling it because it was half paid for already. That's very convenient. Oh, really? That'd be great. She's not going anywhere, so don't worry. Oh, shit. We don't have 4,000 septims. What the hell? It just behooved me into paying for a statue for a lady who's haunting me. She can fuck off. Fine. 
Fine, I'll do it. We're going to have to go sell a lot of things, though. I, I think I probably stole roughly 400,000 septims from, uh, from Winterhold. So I wouldn't worry so much about being able to fund it. It's just finding the merchants who actually want to buy half this shit. And who have the money for half this shit. How close are we? 728. Oh, bollocks. Well, why did that man glow? You see that? Is he a fucking vampire? What the hell's going on there? You should take my advice. Never gamble. Damn, Ernskar has me in debt up to the eyes. I don't know what. You should speak to my daughter, Yvette. She's the brains of the family. Why should I? What the hell has she got to do with any then? You can afford a septum or two. Right, let's go in. Uh, I don't know how we're going to afford this, though. Welcome Good God. I'm sure you'll find what you need here. Do you have 4,000 gold spare? I can borrow. Welcome. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. I get it. It's called <laughs> bits and pieces. Oh, a bit of this and a piece of that. That's what you should have said, you moron. Right, Master Robes of Alteration. We could sell those. 400, uh, 399, so 400, like I said. Magic Cover generates 120% faster. Wow, get rid of it. Sell the lot. How much has she got? Not enough. We're going to have to go to basically everywhere. Let's not sell her clothes because the shop next door deals in clothes. Let's sell her all the other stuff. We need that for the gallery. We do. So don't sell that. You want some potions? You can have that. Thelsa's social butterfly. 91 apiece. Well, all right. Draft of conflict. There you go. You can have that one. Elixir of lasting potency. Oh, wow. Wait, that'll come in handy. Yep. Fine. Well, we're about halfway there already. So that's pretty I'm good. Back to bits and pieces anytime. No problem. You enjoy my potent of potency. My what? Take that, but reverse it. Right, let's go to the radi Radiant Raymond. Is it the Radiant uh, Raymond? It is. No I couldn't remember if that was the name of the shop here or in, uh, Come in, and in the Imperial you. City. I can smash. Oh, what delight. Another charming customer. You're a cock. What have you got for sale, cock? Breaches, gowns, clothes for breaches. any occasion, really. Right here. Here's your fucking breaches. Actually, what does she sell? It's worth coming back here. Jesus Christ, those cost a fortune. Good God, man. Sneaking is 48% more efficient. That's pretty good. 20% less damage while casting a spell. That's also pretty good. Necklace of Extreme Magicka. She sells a uh, a circle of the voice. 12% chance to reduce the cooldown of your shouts to three seconds. Who is the target audience for that? What, Dragonborns and Greybeards? Necklace of the Wraith King. An immortal ghost fights for you. What the fuck? <laughs> well, just in case you happen to want a, uh, an immortal wraith following you around, we've got that covered here. I'll just give you everything we've got, to be honest. Um, as long as it's not like an enchantment that we've got to break apart or anything like that, I'll happily sell her everything. Take the lot. Oh, she's out of gold. Oh, well, it's enough to push us over the 4,000, so I'll take it. Thank you. Finally. Cock. I'll come back and rob the shit out of this place when I'm... We should track down the Thieves Guild. Martinius is an archaeologist. As I said before. The hell was that? Town cries about to start. Oh, here they go. <laughs> A proclamation from the High Court of Solitude. Uh -huh. By the authority of General Tullius, governor of the Empire. Oh wait, I don't care. Right, we'll, we'll listen to him later. Have you guys ever seen a town cry? There was a town crier in the town. Actually, I've, I've seen one in my hometown. Uh, the town over, though, definitely had a town cry. They used to do it just as kind of a, you know, like days when people would go out shopping before Amazon destroyed the high street. Um, people, they, they just put a town crier out there for kind of a show, really. It's quite cool. Can I help you with something? Here's the 4,000. Absolutely. I'll get some hands and we'll cart it on up there by tomorrow. Done. Check back at the museum tomorrow. What a fucking ripoff. Jesus Christ. 4,000 septims. I was going to use that to buy more books. I'm very curious by the end of today how many extra displays we'll have. Because I have a lot of books to go on display. Tomorrow morning, well, I guess we'll just hang around then for a little while, eh? Um, it's got like 20 hours, I guess. 19 hours. Anywhere around there is absolutely fine. Stand outside with Brother Rickard. Like, actually outside, because let's be honest. Fuck trying to sleep there. Oh, there she is. Well, my friend, it seems that did the trick. It hasn't exactly removed the spirit per se, but it certainly has appeased him. I found last night that the spirits of both Niles and Aurelia were wandering the halls of the museum, admiring the displays and taking in the splendor of the building Niles worked so hard on. They seemed quite content. 
You may see them around from time to time in the late hours of the night, but I wouldn't expect any further problems. Oh, well, that's good. What are you here for, exactly? Just doing the good work of our case so that the spirits of the deceased get the rest they deserve. And the rest of us can manage to get a good night's sleep as well. Take care. What a cock. He did nothing. I found all the clues. <laughs> I mean, I'm being intentionally facetious here. Could you imagine? Here's a quest and he does everything. Oh, don't worry. I'll pay for the statue. Oh, lovely. I'm sure I can show that on video. Damn. <laughs> hey, welcome to the museum. Of, this, this Dragonborn gallery is now 18 plus. She's got her entire boob out there. Well, you never know. She might be wearing just like a lycra vest or something. 96 septims. Wow. Is all my stuff put back in the right place? Orion. I've got a fucking bone to pick with you, pal. Oh, there it is. That's the item. The ghost helm. Conveys the wearer into a ghostly form. Boosting magic skills and stealth. Also reduces physical damage taken and dealt. Very cool. Unfortunately, we can't wear... We can't wear that, tragically. Wait, raise stone. What the hell does that do? Uh, I know there's a secret in this room, but I don't know how to... don't know how to find it. Somebody did offer to tell me, but I kind of want to work it out myself, you know? <coughs> Avram? No, where's Orium? I've got a... I got a real... Got a real complaint to lodge with him, the dick. Firstly, can we get some chains on those mannequins? Is this Orion's room then? His books he's hiding. My god. I think it's his own personal collection, isn't it? I don't miss my own oh, there you go. He's banging on about battle again. Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can go around the gallery in between episodes and work out the, the, the secret to, to clicking those buttons in the right order and finding the thing. The fuck is Orion? Ah, oh, whatever. We'll track him down in a minute. Right, let's see how many displays we get after my pillaging of Winterhold. I wouldn't be surprised if this starts another quest, because we're going to add that many you. displays. You me to lighten your load? Ugh, don't like that. Right, what have you got for me? Uh, so that we need to give to what's-his-name, don't we? Um, catch a steel armor. We might be able to put that on display. Steel plate, I'm sorry. In you go. I need to put that on display, my friend. Give me that. It does look ridiculous in the Ancient Lord helmet, so you can keep that one for sure. Uh, Grave Digger is for the gallery, but I mean, it's better than... Oh, look, I give him all these staffs, too. I stole all of these from, uh... <laughs> Might have stolen all of these from, uh, you know, Winterhold. They weren't using them. They were just propped up against a wall. So, honestly, why not? Right. Let us go. Let's display everything. This might take a while. Yeah, it might. It really, really might. But this is going to be... There's going to be a lot of displays. In the meantime, we can go and have a peek around, see if we can find the other buttons to press to unlock the secret. Still sorting displays. It's the sextant that you can pick up from the uh, Explorer's Guild. That will basically mark a treasure if you're in the vicinity of a treasure. Um, as kind of a quest marker. And I used it in here and it marked this floor. So I assume it's something under there. Maybe it raises up if we press the buttons in the right order, but... Is there a button there? Where the fuck is the other ones then? Give me, give me just like a couple of days to try and track it down. If I can't see it then, you're welcome to flood the comment section. Um, or Discord or whatever with... Oh, there we go. We're not in common anymore. With, uh, with how to find it. Hmm. Maybe they're not as obvious as I thought they would be. God knows how many of them are, there are to press as well. With bloody loads. Child, you're not allowed in here. The titty's at the doorstep. You can't come in. Ah, oh, there you are. He walks downstairs like a like a child. You're back. Wonderful. Hello. I trust things fare well. I found an odd weapon from a Dunmer trader, and it turned oh, out to be Stendar's hammer. Impressive. Here, have a look and place it on display if you like. I will. Don't you worry. Don't go too far away, because you're probably gonna have something else to tell me about when the when the gallery's done sorting. Because you can go up here and have a look for buttons as well. Good God, 113 new displays for 421 total. Wow, massive. Right, you got something else you want to tell me now? Dealt with the ghost. Oh, Oops, sorry. The meantime, Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Bollocks. You could look into. I think I just cancelled the, the quest. That's annoying. Yes. Uh, I've dealt with the ghost. Ah, yes, that was a bit of unsettling business, now wasn't it? 
I kept being awakened by strange voices in the museum and found that the pages of my books by my bed would be turning on their own and decided to call the aid of the priests of Arche. I took refuge at the Blue Palace in the meantime. Oh, he's in the Blue Palace. Thank you for looking into it. Also, I'm to understand that you paid out of pocket for the statue out front, which appeased the spirit. I did I indeed. You for that. Oh, it was good. That's good. That's good. Thank God we told him about it, eh? Uh, what's the story with the hidden room under the Dragonborn Hall? Oh, the Hall of Secrets. I had all but forgotten about it, to be honest. We might as well ground ask the about it while we're here. Of the museum expansion. We accidentally broke through into a sealed-off chamber that was built under the Pelagius wing of the Blue Palace. When I asked them about it, it apparently used to be some sort of panic room for Pelagius when he was in one of his more violent manic episodes. They sealed it off long before the rest of the wing and oh, forgot weird. all about it. I asked for permission to use the room as a bit of a secret storage vault in case solitude was ever invaded. I would store the relics there and lock down the museum. They gave permission and I had the tunnel finished and access in the hall made. Oh, could I use it as a private display? Hmm, certainly. I suppose if you are ever in need of a place to store items of a more questionable nature. There you go. So it still operates the same as it does before. That's kind of cool. I'll go ahead and outfit it for you. But I'll take a nobody asks, nobody tells approach to it, and you do with the room as you like. And I won't plan on taking any tours down there either. <laughs> I should have it all cleaned up for you by tomorrow. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay, so that's for if we do Dark Brotherhood Thieves Guild and we happen to come across things that, again, are not really suitable to pull up in the middle of a museum. You know, like the Hand of Fate or some other stuff. Why can't we run? Are we still over encumbered? Oh. <gasps> How are we this much over encumbered? What the fuck? I didn't take that much off of him, did I? The staffs? How are we 1,333 overweight? Oh, that Stendhal's hammer. Right. Yeah, no, you're right there. That explains it. <laughs> ah, um, for those of you who watched the Morrowind playthrough, you remember the, the museum... At, uh, and that's almost certainly where they got this concept from in hindsight, isn't it? I've only just put that together. The museum in, uh, Christ, what is it called? Amalexia. Mournhold. There it is. In Mournhold. Uh, City of Light, City of Magic, if you're curious. One of the, one of the displays there is Stendhal's Hammer. God, I never put that together before. That's almost certainly where they got that idea, isn't it? Nothing really the same in Oblivion, but, uh, glad it made it through into Skyrim. Well, let's go ahead and stick this on display as well. Wow, so we've, we've shot up displays. What was that, 421, 422 now, I guess. That's insane. What I might do is another episode uh, later today. Just so that for the, you know, for the people who don't really like horror content um, or maybe aren't interested in the Dragonborn gallery-specific stuff, seeing as it is modern content for people who just want to watch, you know, regular old Skyrim. Do another episode for you guys later today. I won't do that every day, um, but if we do, you know, things that... Some people might feel that they want to skip over. I'll make sure that you are uh, nice and catered to. Plus, it gives me an excuse to play some more Skyrim, doesn't it? So, uh, yeah, that's probably what we'll do. So, stay tuned. We'll either continue on with the Ethereum Wars. Um, what I'm actually kind of tempted to do is do some of the kind of side activities. So, kill the leader of the Pine Moon Cave, uh, find Red Eagle's sword, find talk to the companion leaders, that type of thing. Remember, we need uh, a few more levels still in Alteration. Before we are... Do you think like Magicka? Uh, sorry, a few more levels in Restoration before we can get... What are we after again in here? Ah, oh, Sun's Judgment. That was it. Level 60. We can deal damage to Living, Daedra, Automatons, and Dragons. So that would be fantastic. Sun spells. All it. Anyway, I've got hiccups. So now's a great time to wrap this up. See you guys all uh, later today, I guess.